In this video, we're going to do an expenditure minimization problem. So here's the consumer's utility function. We've got good X and good Y. The price of good X is $8. Price of good Y is $2. And we want to find the minimum expenditure necessary to obtain 100 units of utility. First thing we'll do is get the marginal utility of good X, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. We get the following result. Bring this one half down in front. That's where this two is coming from down here. And then we're going to subtract one from this exponent on the X term. We get the marginal utility of good Y and a similar result. Bring this one half down in front. That's where this two is coming from in the denominator. And then on the exponent on the Y term, it's one half minus one. You have y to the minus one-half power. We're going to set the marginal rate of substitution equal to the ratio of the price of good x to the price of good y, just the utility maximizing condition. The marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. So I got that result right here on the left-hand side. And we're just going to simplify the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Uh, the first thing we'll notice here is these twos cancel. And then following the rules of exponents, we're going to bring this x to the minus one-half down into the denominator, and you'll just have x down there. And then we're going to bring this y to the minus one-half up into the numerator, and you'll get y to the one-half times y to the one-half, or just y. Solving this last expression now for y, y equals 4x. We're going to set our utility function equal to 100. And then we're going to substitute for y, we're going to plug in 4x. So again, y equals 4x. In our utility function, where u is set equal to 100, we're going to make a substitution where we have y, we now have 4x. We're going to have to take the square root of 4x. And we'll get this result. Square root of 4 is 2. And we get, again, x to the 1 half. Simplifying and dividing through by 2, x equals 50. And since y equals 4x, y will equal 200. The expenditure on good x is going to be the price of good x times the number of units purchased, 50. So we said the price of good x is $8, so 8 times 50 is 400. And the expenditure on good y is the price of good y times units of good y, $2 times 200 is $400. So the minimum expenditure necessary to obtain a utility of 100 is going to be 400 plus 400 or $800. And you'll note here if we were to evaluate our utility function at x equals 50 and y equals 200 we get 100 units of satisfaction. There are certainly other combinations that will give you 100 units of satisfaction, but this is the cheapest. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.